I'm here with my favourite book, or one of my favourite books, Alexander's Outing. And the author is Pamela Allen. Let's have a story. Alexander lived with his mother and his four brothers and sisters in the most beautiful place in the whole of Sydney. But Alexander's mother was bored. So one warm sunny morning, they all set out in search of adventure. Past the bottle tree, through the iron gates and along Art Gallery Road. Stay close, take care, quiet. Alexander's mother. But Alexander did not stay close and Alexander did not take care. He straggled behind with his head in the air. In College Street, a man rushed out and stopped the traffic. Stay close, take care, quacked Alexander's mother. But Alexander did not stay close and Alexander did not take care. He straggled behind and he did not hear. By the time they reached the other side, Alexander had disappeared. Alexander's mother was quacking and quacking and flapping. Alexander! Alexander! And all his brothers and sisters were quacking and quacking and flapping and flapped and quacked. They could not find him anywhere. They were all quacking. Very worried. When they stopped making such a din, they heard a faint little distant quack from deep down in the earth. A young man and a middle-aged lady came over to see what was going on. The young man tried to reach Alexander, but his long arms weren't long enough. The middle-aged lady had an umbrella. So the young man tried again with his long arms and the umbrella, but they still weren't long enough. A young couple were picnicking in Hyde Park, heard all the commotion and they packed up their, their basket and came over to see what all the noise was about. How are we going to get him out? The middle-aged lady asked. The young couple had no idea. Cheer up, they called out and dropped a half-eaten cheese sandwich down the hole. There it is, it's just hit him on the head. Poor Alexander. A policeman arrived. He knew exactly what to do. He lowered his whistle down the hole on the end of a long piece of string. Here, he shouted, grab hold of this. But Alexander did not grab hold. Alexander did not hear. A small boy and his mother joined the crowd. A little quiet quack came from the deep hole. How were they going to get him out? Then, before anyone could stop, the small boy tipped his drink down the hole. Ah, now you've gone and drowned the poor little blighter, shouted the young man with the long arms. And they all tried to peer down the deep, dark hole to see. Everyone started talking at once. They all wanted to rescue Alexander, but how were they going to do it? From their baskets, the young picnickers handled out two cups, two plastic bags, one lunchbox and one thermos flask. The small boy still held his empty drink can. Then, ducks and all, they all pranced in one long snaky line to the Archibald Fountain. Now dipping and tipping and dipping and skipping and tipping and dripping and quacking and flapping and dripping and skipping, from the fountain to the hole and back again they danced. Slowly the water rose, up and up and up. 
until out popped Alexander like a cork out of a bottle. His mother flapped and flapped and quacked and quacked and all his brothers and sisters flapped and flapped and quacked and quacked. Such joyful quacking, such happy flapping. When the celebrations were over, they set off, still quacking and flapping, back across College Street, along Art Gallery Road, through the Iron Gates, past the Bottle Tree, and got safely home in time for tea. Quack, quack. The end. I hope you enjoyed my story about Alexander's outing. It's got a happy ending, which is always good. And just remember to listen to your mum, okay? It's pretty important. Boys and girls, I hope you're all doing well and having fun learning at home, and we're really looking forward to the day when everybody comes back to school. So take care and be safe. Bye. <laughs>